All right, everybody, in case you don't know from what's going on behind me, we are going to go over This is the End. Yes, I have a lot of stuff pertaining to that. Uh, the screen isn't big enough to actually show everything I do have, but Seth Rogen is actually part of another part of the standee I, I uh, snagged. It just worked out well with, you know, Danny and, you know, Craig here. But yes, we're going to go over This is the End. Uh, it's a simple story. There's a party at James Franco's house, and all hell breaks loose. Like all James Franco's parties, I guess. Uh, it's, a, it's, it's a simple or as weirdly complicated as you may think. I mean, I, I say, I, I mean, I, it's a very weird, this story is very weird, and it takes the craziest and oddest turns, and then they just go completely nuts with it towards, like, the middle and, and the end of it. The main point of this film is that it was focused on the five celebrity best friends trying to cope, uh, trying to cope together and trying to get through, uh, to, through to, to the end of days. The, apparently, it's the apocalypse. Now, unfortunately, this film, uh, in the trailers, it lends the focus on that. It shows that the focus that on every single person or actor in this film is a celebrity, and they actually play a character of themselves. I don't think all of them are actually. Uh, they act I don't think any of them actually physically play themselves, except for maybe Franco, because if you ever like look at his Instagram. Or Twitter, he is, he is out there, and I wasn't. It didn't shock me that he did uh, Spring Breakers. It doesn't shock me that he, you know, he did this film with the, with these guys. He, you know, all these guys together just made a great film, and it, it was just funny. It was, it was, which it was, it was just funny to see that I couldn't even imagine on how the the pitch meeting, uh, the pitch meeting went for this film. I mean, I could just, like I said, the trailers of this film focused on showing them, uh, showing us, the real audience, on, in on this, like, crazy wild ride that these guys take in this film. And boy, and I'm telling you right now, boy, did everyone show up for this film, for this bus ride. The focused five were, uh, the always, they're, and they're always brilliant together. You have Franco, Hill, Rogan, Jay Baruchel, and Craig Robinson. And then you have, uh, you got, you got The McBride, yeah, that's right, I said The McBride, because there's only one guy. And then you have the lovely Emma Watson, who shows up for a few scenes, and, uh, the well, and apparently the well, uh, the red-shirted few celebrities, like Michael Sarah, Mindy Killing, Mint Plaza, Rihanna, Martin Starr, Kevin Hart, Azeen Ansari, I mean, there are so many great people in this film that I can't go... You know, it, it, it would just take too long for me to actually list them, and you and you might blow a gasket. And believe me, you will shit bricks. You know, when you see the uh, my personal favorites were at were at the, uh, the my two favorite cameos were at the end, especially the end, and they were just comp I I'm speechless right now because it's that awesome. But aside from all that greatness and the abundance of cameos of the celebrities, the story actually holds up. It doesn't really flow naturally because of all these great actors, you know, because they have to, like, get them in, and then it's, like, a really odd timing thing. But it actually, do it actually does hold up. It doesn't flow, but it's there, and it's understandable. And I can't, and you, I can't forget about how freaking hilarious this is. You know, I haven't laughed at a movie like this in I don't even know how long. Um, I was actually really happy that all these guys got together because it's either Franco and Rogan or Rogan and Hill, Robinson and Rogan, Bur Burchell and Hill. I mean, the comedy shows are pretty much endless, you know, in other films, and they brought everyone in this film. They signed every single, you know, person, you know, in the last couple of years that have been doing great with themselves, and I, I absolutely enjoyed it. I loved it. It was, it was, it was fun, and when you get all these guys and everyone's awesomeness and acting and, you know, and comedy stylings, you get one so pretty great, solid, you know, f comedy about the apocalypse, which is what it is, it, and, and what it, which is what it does and is. It's a solid comedy with amazing co uh, comedic actors who just have fun with what they do, and, and which is make people laugh, and I'm, well, you know, I I'm sure the paycheck was, you know, 
pretty sweet as well. But nonetheless, it's a fun comedy with funny guys. I guarantee you'll have a great time at the theater. And you know what? Uh, it, it's it's just a f overall fun movie that you'll have. It, it's like I said, it's hilarious. You definitely won't be uh, you won't be shunned if you don't see it. Uh, the thing is, like going into it, I did have my doubts on it because you know with comedies like this. They, you know, the 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 uh, advertising budget was a little high, so they advertised it on every channel. Uh, you know, they put it in uh, every new movie before it. You know, so they can advertise the trailers. The, you know, sometimes those movies don't work out, but this actually worked out. And unfortunately, they actually got to get a little bit more money than they use than they probably normally would have, only because. They they uh, released it on Wednesday before uh, Man of Steel, and that was actually really good of them because Man of Steel pretty much crushed it over the weekend. 144 million point one, I think, right or something like that. I don't know. It, it was absolutely crazy. But if you want to also have a good time, make sure you subscribe to my channel right here. Um, so just make sure you give my video a thumbs up. Also right here somewhere. Give my review, uh, give my reviews a share, and you know, with Twitter and Facebook. Um, the next movie I believe we'll we'll be doing is uh, the Internship, which should be a good one. You know, I've been actually wanting to see this one for a while. Uh, Owen Wilson, Vince Vaughn. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that.